Hello, I'm Dave. Today I'm going to show you how to set your wheel alignment, your tracking, using simple old school style tracking gauges. This just sets your tracking using the gauges on the front wheels. This is not four wheel alignment. If you watch my videos, you'll be aware a couple of weeks ago, I did a video doing a pre MOT test on my Mondeo myself. Well, I took it earlier this week and it actually failed on a bottom ball joint, the steering suspension bottom ball joint. So I fitted a new one, took it back, got a full year's MOT. But of course that slightly knocked my um, tracking out, my wheel alignment out. I was aware of this because the steering wheel had slightly gone off centre. Yeah, so after fitting my new bottom ball joint, my tracking was actually towing out slightly. This wants to be on zero. You, you can have a little bit in, a little bit out. Look in your Haynes manual, your user manual for the specifications of your car. If it was towing in, it would be this way around. So here on the gauge, we're towing out with the laser beam in the center. So I need to adjust the tracking so that when the laser beam is in the center, the gauge is on zero. Right, so we're up on the jack. Axle stand as always, over there. This is what we're adjusting. I've put the mill grips on here. There's a locking nut there. This is your track rod end. This is your steering rack. So with your spanner on here, you crack this locking nut off. Yeah, so my wheels were towing out. This is the front of my car. My wheels were towing out. The rack is at the back. So we're towing out. So to bring the wheels in, we need to adjust this longer. In effect, make the rack slightly longer. If we were towing in, the wheels at the front, front of the car, if we're towing in, the rack at the back would be too long. So in effect, we would be making the rack shorter so that we're going in a straight line down the road. Right, so yeah, I'm back over here. So like I said, crack this. Crack this nut off. I was towing out, so in effect I want to make my rack this area because it's at the back of the steering. I want to make that slightly longer. So with that cracked off, I would wind this out a little bit and then I would get my spanner. I would hold the grips, lock this back up. Oh, and check that these gaiters I'm pointing at now are straight, not all twisted up and misshaped after you've finished adjusting. Mine are only cable tied on. I sometimes snip the cable tie or just a quick squirt of WD so they can twist around as I'm adjusting this. Yeah, so I'll do that on both sides equally so the steering wheel stays centralised. If, for example, the steering wheel wasn't centralised, I would adjust this first. I would centralise the steering wheel first and then I would go on to set the tracking, the wheel alignment to zero. If the steering wheel was like this down the road when you're going in a straight line, then you would need to slightly adjust both track rod ends as I'm going to explain now. You would crack them both off. You would need to adjust the driver's side, offside. You would need to wind the rack out of the track rod end slightly. You would then go to the passenger side, near side, after cracking the nut off and wind the steering rack slightly into the track rod end which would then make the steering wheel go like that obviously if it was this way around do the opposite of what I just said so I centralize mine first and then I set it to zero then I go down the road and check it's centralized I come back and put the gauges on again and check it's still at zero so I've adjusted the track rod ends slightly, equally on each side, put the gauges back on. Make sure the gauge is firmly against the wheel. Got a spirit level here to make sure it's level. The bubble is in the middle there. And there's one that's fitted to this gauge. There, that's in the centre. Got the mirror on this side. This side we have the laser beam. Check that this is level, which it is, I can see it's level in there. 
again check these are firmly on the wheel this gauge is to zero i don't know if the camera's going to i can just see it there so it's it's all zero now the red laser it shoots out of here to the mirror comes back and it's there in the center white line yeah, so this is my old ball joint. I'm going to have to come right up to the camera with it and I don't think you'll see. There is, well, I can feel it there, the slightest bit of play, but I don't know if it's more me moving like this on the camera. But yeah, um, I did my uh, pre-MOT check myself, as I said in the previous video. Couldn't find this at all, but the guy at the MOT station did say I wouldn't find this on the jack. He put it on the shaker plate on the ramp, I don't really know what that is. And uh, and that's when he failed this. Personally, I thought it would have just been an advisory. There is, I don't know, it's done now, isn't it? It's safe. <laughs> yeah, so happy days, full years MOT, tracking set. If you enjoy my videos, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Subscribe to see new videos coming in. Thanks for watching.